Evening fellow FOSS enthusiasts, it's Nick Shearzer here with another video. Well, the other day it was announced that VLC 3.0 Veterinari uh, had been released and although I am more of an MPV slash M player user, I thought to myself what better time to see what features have crept into uh, the 3.0 X series from when I last tried the 2.x series and I went through okay it's a major update that's great activates hardware encoding by default which is fantastic because you can get 4 and 8k uh, playback 10 bits HDR fine whatever uh, 360 video and 3 fine audio pass through and then this can stream to Chromecast devices even in formats not supported natively well, I thought to myself, hang on, I've got a Chromecast, and you guys might be surprised that I've got a Chromecast. But, what's really good about a Chromecast is obviously the Play Store ecosystem and being able to get videos and stuff like that. But I've got a whole host of my own stuff that I wouldn't mind playing on the Chromecast without using DLNA. I like using DLNA, and I use Mini DLNA by default. But this is a nice little trick, so to speak. And I thought to myself, okay, well I'm going to do exactly what they've done and told me to do, and I'm going to run up VLC. Now you would have seen the compile um, videos and stuff like that before, no doubt, but I'm going to put a little compile segment here. And so what happened was um, that I began to fiddle around with VLC and uh, here's my build directory here and I went okay I actually had a few issues initially because I didn't have um, Qt support so I couldn't actually get a nice display like this like you would expect uh, to prove the point we go into about and you can see that we've got this beautiful little guy here I actually didn't know that you could click on that and it'll give you something like as in the username and the host name and the date and presume that's the build date and that would look that would be the truth I just built it just before so there you go so we would close that and the next thing to look at was okay I want to play to my Chromecast uh, but there are guides out there that say you can just go to the renderer and do that. Well, it turns out that this old guide in here provides a way of doing it the command line, and so far I found that to be reliable, whereas other methods, not so much. Anyway, so without further ado, let's take a look at actually doing this. So I'm just going to try and play a video. I've got a video in my directory, so I'm going to go. Ooh. I'm going to actually go back into VLC I'm going to quit it okay and I'm going to create another window and then I'm going to actually use this little command here so let's just get the idea going so what you have to do is you've got to know what video obviously you're going to play and it would probably be a good point at this time just to grab this as a bit of a template. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to drop off this little guy and I'm going to put him at the start so I can go and I've got a nice Fatora video in there that I'm going to pass through. Now the next thing is is I don't entirely know for certain what my IP of my Chromecast is. So I'm going to go and find that out using a handy nmap tool. And then I'm going to go SU because nmap provides some OS detection features from the get go if you do that. I'm not sure why. And I'm going to go 192.168.0.2 star oh, let's just do star so I've got this unknown guy here, I've got a couple of Apple devices 
not mine. Um, <laughs> I might get an Apple device in the future, but that's a that's a talk for another another video. We'll leave that for another video. But a good candidate is probably this 201, this 200, 201, or you know, 20, maybe this 203. Who knows? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from the 203 backwards and uh, hopefully we kick the right one and we'll know straight away. So we'll just go into here. So dot out. I told you before we got to grab this and we're going to put that command in here and uh, we're gonna fire up that Fedora video and start off at 192.168.0.203 okay so we've got some interesting action going on here so the next thing to do is to go and actually check that it's playing, it probably isn't but we'll give it a go so I'm going to put the video on pause here and go and have a bit of a look-see So as you can see, we tried uh, 203, now we can try uh, 201, so, uh, so we just changed that to a 1, and, and you can see here that it's begun to play, so if I go out and have a look, let's go and have a look now. So as you can see, it uh, played perfectly fine. Uh, there are some other options which I won't go through now, but you can basically duplicate uh, what you're playing on the screen at present. Uh, interestingly enough, even though that's continuing playing, we don't actually see it showing up in here. It just still says scanning. So I'm not sure what's going on with the GUI side of things in VLC, trying to communicate with a Chromecast and scanning for a local Chromecast, but it's not happening. So uh, I'm going to leave it right there. If you like this video, smash that like button. If you want to see more of this sort of content, make sure you subscribe and uh, share with your friends. Anyway guys, I'm going to catch you now. Bye.